Hey guys, welcome to the 19th Autodesk Inventor tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the Revolve tool. And the Revolve tool will basically allow us to revolve geometry around an axis. And in our case it's going to be revolving this circle around this line. So in order to make a revolution or to use the Revolve tool, you're going to have to have some sort of geometry, and for us that's this circle, and some sort of axis to revolve around, and for us that's just this line right here and it could be the side of a rectangle or anything like that. You just need to have some sort of line. All right, so back to what the Revolve tool actually does. Like I said, it will revolve uh, geometry, in our case this circle, around an axis. And when we're done, we're going to end up with a 3D feature. And it's going to look something like a donut. And you're probably thinking in your head, like, well, I don't understand this. What does this do? How could this possibly work? So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it actually does, and then I'm sure you'll understand. Alright, so just go ahead up here to finish sketch once you have an axis and some sort of geometry. And once you have this, you just want to go up to the Revolve tool up here and just click it. And as soon as you do so, you should see a Revolve dialog just show up. And the first thing that it wants you to do is basically select the profile or the geometry that you want to revolve around your axis. And in our case, it's just going to be this circle right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and select that. Now, the next thing that it wants you to do is basically select the axis. And the axis is what you want to revolve around. And in our case, it's just going to be this line right here. So I'm just going to go down to axis here, select that, and then just go ahead and select this line. All right. And as soon as I do so, we see that it shows basically a preview of what our revolution will look like. And I actually want to do this. I want this uh, revolution to happen. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And as soon as I do so, we see that it just revolved that circle around that axis. So it just took that circle and basically just revolved it around that line until it made a 3D um, feature. And now if we zoom out here, you'll see that it will actually look like a donut. So to zoom out, I'm just going to scroll on my mouse. And yep, there we go. And now if I were to rotate the camera, you'd see that it actually is a donut. So I'm just going to go over here to this tool right here, put my mouse in here, click and drag, and we see that that uh, rotates the camera. So we can see that it is in fact 3D and it basically looks like a donut. All right, and you can basically um, revolve anything you want. So it doesn't have to be a circle. It could just be some crazy shape. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to make some crazy shape and then revolve it around our line. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit Control Z to undo my revolution so that we can change this circle into something else. And to change this, I'm just going to go over here and right click on my sketch and click Edit Sketch. And that will allow us to basically edit our sketch any way we want. And then I'm just going to click this cube up here, go to the front so that we're looking at our sketch head on. And it looks just like it did before. Alright, and like I said, we're not going to have a circle here. We're actually going to revolve some crazy shape. And I'm just going to go ahead and select that circle and delete it. And then I'm going to make some crazy shape out of lines. So I'm just going to go over to the line tool and make some crazy shape, basically. And then revolve this right here um, around this line. All right, so I'm just going to go up to finish sketch. And then I'm going to go over to the revolve tool. Select my profile. In our case, it's this. And then select the axis, which is this line right here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click OK, and we can see that it did in fact create some crazy shape. And yeah, you can basically create anything you want using that Revolve tool. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to get into some more things that you can re uh, actually do with a Revolve tool, like make it not go around all the way and revolve in between two shapes and stuff like that. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial, so see you guys.